An important element of any fantasy RPG is the dungeon, and the worst dungeons are the ones that are reduced to a collection of obstacles that the players must overcome. Sometimes the game will treat a dungeon as a location that only exists for the few hours or days that the players spend in it. It may be ruins that are thousands of years old, but it is designed as if it were only a few weeks old, its only purpose being for the players to plunder. The best dungeons are something more than a string of rooms and monsters. Every developed NPC has physical and emotional characteristics that make each of them interesting. Cities and villages have atmosphere and unique shops. Magical weapons often have deep backstories. While people, towns, and even magical items are thought to have character, people do not generally think about dungeons as being individuals. But a dungeon with character is special indeed. A dungeon is a miniature ecosystem. Life, geology, time, and weather affect and change it. All places populated by living creatures are animated and intricate, not just the places that happen to be above ground. So today we are covering dungeon packs. Dungeon mods don't get a lot of coverage in YouTube videos, and considering how much of your game time that you spend inside them, that is a head scratcher. So let's try and change that. I've picked out a few dungeon mods that I thought looked good with the focus on dungeon packs over individual dungeons. And then I spent a decent amount of time crawling through their depths to bring you a showcase of some of the best. Let's get started. This mod enhances a handful of vanilla Skyrim dungeons by adding onto them and making them bigger. Along with the size increase, there are additional hallways, rooms, and enemies that have been added. All of the additions are lore friendly and very well done, along with being well balanced. The author has done a great job, and the additions do look really good. And they look so similar to vanilla that if you've never visited one of the dungeons before, you'd not be able to tell that it wasn't purely a vanilla dungeon. The following dungeons have been changed. I very much hope that the author continues this work and gets more dungeons included in the pack.
This pack adds eight entirely new dungeons around Skyrim. All of these dungeons are lore friendly and are seamlessly integrated into the world. I just have to say that the dungeons in this pack look stunning, like seriously, they are drop dead gorgeous and are quite possibly the best looking dungeons I've ever seen in a mod. The dungeons range anywhere from small to medium in size, and I don't think any of them are quite as big as the vanilla Skyrim dungeons, but that's okay because they look a thousand times better. This one adds six new dungeons to Soul's Time from the Dragonborn expansion. They are lore friendly and based on Morrowind and its expansion, Bloodloom. There are also four quests related to the locations, which you'll discover as you play the game. The dungeons themselves look great and they are very creative. The only problem that I see is that they are a bit on the small side. But if you have room in your load order, I highly recommend this mod as Soul's Time could use a lot more real estate.
no you don't. Oh. And that's it for yet another episode. Remember to endorse those modders, and I'll see you next time.